Okay, in this uh, new feature video for Cinema 4D R Up 2023, not R, no, not S anymore either. Uh, we're gonna see how we can apply decals much easier now um, using Redshift than we could previous. Gone is uh, really the need for the material blender or material layer. And instead we can do it just like we could do it with standard Cinema 4D materials. So let's go ahead and see how that works. All right, so what I have here is just a cube, simple uh, Redshift material that I actually grabbed from the asset browser. Uh, and I went ahead and switched my renderer here to Redshift. Now, what we can do is create another new material, open up the node editor here, and I'm gonna drag in um, the textures I need for this. So give me just one second. And you know, with this type of uh, setup, you are gonna want a diffuse texture. So that, um, that's what we're gonna see there. And then also some kind of alpha or map. Okay, I think actually if you use a PNG, you can do it all in one, but I still prefer um, just kind of do it the, the old fashioned way. I'll just connect these up. Use color, opacity map. And then what I can do is go ahead and apply this material to my cube. Redshift's being a bit slow for me, but what we should see eventually um, is our new sticker uh, being applied. And so this was something we really couldn't do before. There we go. So yeah, there you have it. Now what we can do with this new sticker uh, is switch the projection do something other than UVW mapping like flat, and that will give us our projection. Now it is gonna end up on the other side here unless we just apply it to a specific polygon or um, actually, no, that would be the only way to do it would be to apply it to a specific polygon. Um, I can check uncheck tile, but that really won't work um, for this particular setup. Um, if I had a much bigger cube and this was repeating, then turning off tile could help. But now what I can do is come here to texture mode and then scale this down, move it, position it, rotate it, do whatever I want. So much easier than we could previously. And in fact, you can just duplicate it. So I just held control or command and just dragged to the right to duplicate that. I can move this one down and drag it, scale it, do whatever it is I need to do. So this is a much more efficient way of adding stickers or other you know, really stacking materials on top of each other. And so I'm very, very happy to see uh, this get integrated now. So that's gonna do it for uh, this video, this quick look at a new feature in Cinema 4D um, 2023. If there's anything else new you would like to see, please let me know.